This video, I will explain three common mistakes that I observed in my workshop participants and how to avoid these beginner mistakes. The first one is they use the pencil tool instead of the pen tool. The pen tool can allow you to draw these uh, very schematic lines. Instead of the pen tool, I see a lot of the beginners choose to use the pencil tool. The way the pencil tool works is more similar to how we draw on paper that you have a pen and you can freely move around the canvas. You're hand will definitely be shaking, especially when you're using a computer mouse. If you use pen tool, you can avoid having those crooked lines uh, because the computer will calculate the line for you between those anchor points that you created. This will allow you to have very schematic and very smooth shapes. I am a scientific illustrator. A lot of my clients are scientists, so uh, they are making figures for their research publications. And the style in these uh, scientific journals are very schematic. And this is what the, the other illustrator is made for. They made for creating these uh, vector based graphics. If you use the pencil tool to draw like how you draw on a regular paper, then you, it totally lose the purpose of using these vector graphics software. So uh, it is better to use the pen tool. A second common mistake is that they don't use the color swatches. Other illustrators have these preset color collections that you can pick your colors from and then put them into your objects. And a lot of the beginners, they mix their own colors instead. This is not like a very deadly sin in terms of using other Illustrator. A potential problem is that you will get lost in the infinite choices of colors when you are mixing it by yourself. It is easier to start with the colors in the color swatches and then build up your color combinations from the preset and that can really save a lot of your time. It can also make your color palettes more consistent and that can create a harmony across your illustrations. The third mistake is that you have not subscribed to my channel. Just joking, this is a reminder for you that you can subscribe to my channel and also give a like to this video if this content has helped you. The actual third mistake is that they don't use the shortcuts. There are a lot of shortcuts or call hotkeys in Adobe Illustrator that can help you when you're switching between tools. And there's some common shortcuts like V for selection tool, A for direct selection tools. Uh, these are very handy. I see a lot of beginners will just go back to the toolbars. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but uh, if you are working on a bigger project, then you, those a few seconds will start to accumulate into like minutes and even hours. So uh, it is better to start to uh, Get a custom yourself with some of the shortcuts. If you want to learn more about these tools, you can download my ebook in the link in the description, and you can also watch this video.